In this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can create SAP Integration Suite free trial account. For creating SAP Integration Suite instance, you need to follow different steps. Starting with register and login, create a sub account, adding Integration Suite instance, user access management, adding capabilities, and adapting user access management for PI, API, and open characters. In the description down below, I provided a link where you can get started. Let's begin. You need to first register and log in to HANA Cockpit. So now you are in SAP BTP HANA Cockpit. So we have these following regions here and services notifications and now go to global accounts click on trail account so accept the terms and conditions so cockpit is now loading now select the region where you want to install this instance of SAP integration suite for now, I select Singapore, create account. So it will create a global account, a sub account, and an organization and some space. So you can see, trail account, it has a space dev, and click continue. Now go to Now go to trail account. Okay, so we have a 90 days trail period. So you can use this account for 90 days. And if it gets the commission, then you need to create a new one. So you can see here, so I have a global account. Under the global account, I have a sub account. So in the sub account, so we have a trail instance that is running on Microsoft Azure. And the region is Singapore. And it's a multi multi environment. So now I, would, I want to rename this sub account just to give a meaningful name. Maybe um, SAP Integration Suite account. Let's let me do that. Click save. So now it's renamed. Go to set account. So you can see all the details about set account. It has 64 entitlements and two instances and subscriptions. As I said before, it's running on uh, Microsoft Azure and it's a multi environment setup. So you can see what is a Cloud Foundry environment, what is Schema environment, what are other entitlements that you can use. So you can now find all the details here. So now go to Cloud Foundry and Spaces. Let's see what kind of space we have allocated here. So we have uh, 4 GB space available in terms of memory. And we have around uh, total 400 services available. So you can also have a look at the organization members. So I have an organization manager here. You can have multiple mem members here, like an uh, organization member or auditor. So I don't want to add anything here, cancel. So now we have logged in and now we created a sub account. 
Now the third step, so we are going to add an integration suite instance. So go to instance subscriptions. So as you can see here, uh, SAP has already installed something called SAP Business Application Studio for me. Now I'm going to add uh, SAP integration suite instance. Now click create and then uh, find uh, SAP uh, integration suite. Yeah, then uh, plan is trail. Then uh, create. So it's going to create all the infrastructure in the background. Now you can see it's processing. And now you can see further details here. So go to users because I need to add the users and the permissions here. It's called the user access management for integration suite. So go to users. Now you can create or add SM roles. Basically, I'm adding a role called integration provisioner because that's necessary for accessing integration suite. So we have these two roles now at the moment. Now go back to instance and subscriptions. So now the resource is ready and uh, click on open application, go to application. And now we need to have the fifth step. So now we need to add capabilities. As you can see, uh, it's saying that uh, you don't, you haven't added any capabilities. So now let me add the capabilities here. Click on add capabilities. So now add all the capabilities because we want to try all the features. So after you select everything, click on next. So, so it's a trail account, click on next. Just keep it as it is. Uh, maybe I'll use this enable uh, API business API. Okay, let me do that and activate. So it's going to activate all the components for you in the background that you need. So cloud integration, API management. So yeah, it's now going to activate everything which are in progress at the moment. Now you can see there's nothing avail available at the moment. Now I need to go back to the uh, access management because I need to add the roles necessary for accessing the capabilities. So now I go to the uh, roles again. Uh, so this is the strong integration. And now go to the uh, users. And click on the user. Then here you can add SN roles collection. Now I'm going to add the uh, roles for uh, capabilities like PI, API and Open Connector. So search for PA underscore. So you add this PA administrator, PA business expert, business integration developer. Then I would also need uh, roles for API management. So let me search for API management. So you see API management uh, roles, these two. Now I need finally, uh, I probably for open connectors. So let me see, uh, not integration. Um, no, I think not integration. So let me find it for uh, open connectors. Yeah, so these open connectors user. So click on this. So now I send all the roles necessary for my uh, integration suite development. So yes, that's it. So PI administrator, integration developer, business expert, API administrators, and open connector. So now click on OK. So now the roles have been assigned to the user. So let me uh, go back to everything is done now here. So close it and let me go back to um, the service and subscriptions. Yeah. In 
instances and scriptures. Yeah. Now here, I'll try to go back to the integration suite. Open the application. Okay. Now you should be able to see all the capabilities enabled. Now you see on the left hand pan, you can see all the stuff enabled for you. So discover, so discover, design, test, configuration, monitor, settings. So now everything is set up for you and you go to a free trail uh, SAP integration suite is available. Now you can start building integrations. I hope you managed to uh, create your own account. Then now we are ready to create a new integrations with SAP CPI. Let's get started.